come back, you know, take time out of our families. Uh, you know, we all have teenagers and young adults now. Uh, it shows that it meant a lot the time that we were here. You know, we it it, it meant it, it meant a lot, and we 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 share the stories because, you know, like Tony said, each each one of us when we got here, we were at a I was at a crossroads. I had just left LA and I was trying to decide did I want to continue to play basketball. The love had lost, the, I had lost the love playing in LA. My career, I was playing some games, wouldn't play some games. And, and the day I got traded, I, got, I was a part of the Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant trade to come here myself and Anthony Pillar. And, you know, sometimes you fans say, well, players are spoiled, not appreciative. I was appreciative when I got the opportunity to come here and play. Uh, you know, I didn't look at what the what the record was. You know, we both and, and these guys can share with you also. We were we were we were appreciative that we had an opportunity to put on a uniform and 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 show that the skills that we had and all the hard work we put in in the summers. It actually pays off when you get opportunity to step on the floor. It wasn't about the checks. You know, we got paid well to play the game. Uh, we had, we all had long careers, but to be able to step on the floor and hear the fans appreciate you, clap for you, cheer for you, that's what we, and that's why we played the game. That was the appreciation, and that's, I really thank you and appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, for me, it's, it's two dates, right? June 25th, 1995. That's the day I arrived in Vancouver the first time. Getting off an airplane and being greeted by you guys the way I was, was fantastic. The other day, November 5th, 1995. First home game, first home victory in the history of the Vancouver Grizzlies. Uh, I, we, uh, I joke about it with people, but I mean it. Not everybody can say, there's only 12 guys that can say they were on the court that day and a part of that victory. I get to be one of those 12, and nobody can take that away from me, and it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, there's there's uh, one more special guest that I'd like to bring onto the court today. Um, for those of you who are in the theater, we got to hear his story for the very first time. If you haven't seen the film, we're playing it again October 5th. I, I encourage you to come out. But would everyone please give a very warm Vancouver welcome to Steve Francis! <laughs> hey y'all, uh, first of all, um, I wanna apologize for the first time y'all ever seen me with my lip hanging on the ground. There's so many reasons in this movie you'll see why, but uh, once again, Kat just said it. Uh, these guys are veteran brothers to me. Um, I grew up around both of these guys here, Tony and uh, George. So they kind of knew the way that I grew up. And um, I just want to say thank you guys for understanding. And uh, just like Kat said, uh, Vancouver's been a great city. Uh, first time I was ever able to visit it by myself. So I went fishing and ate some good food. and. Uh, it was great, and I definitely plan on coming back very soon. Thank you guys so much. Get a chance. Check the film out. Please check the film out. Thank you so much. Um, do you guys have any... Uh, uh, what? Uh, can you tell me about the... Uh, the movie. What did you guys think of the film? So I'm gonna. This is a self promotion plug right now. I'm gonna slip in here. Let me tell you guys about this movie that this lady did. You all should be very proud of her. This is one of your own. This is one of your own. This is a voice that speaks for a lot of Vancouver Grizzly fans. If you are a true diehard grand Vancouver Grizzly fan. You should see this documentary because she speaks to your soul. She speaks about your pain and she answers in the process of trying to find out what happened. She's going to answer a lot of questions. There were things that I didn't know as a player. There are things that I didn't know in this movie. So I encourage you all to go in and, and look at it because it chronicles 
the very beginning, literally up to the very end, and it fills in some things in the middle. So be very proud of what she has done because she did an excellent job in telling a story that a lot of people have a lot of questions about still to this day. Thank you, Tony. It was it was a team effort, and I will say that team effort, and these guys these guys were a part of that. All right, all right. I got something to say. I'm jumping in here for a second. Y'all want to see these guys shoot some hoops? Y'all want to see some action? I want to see some action. What do you think? Cat, I seen I seen the movies. I know you'll take any opportunity to play that you would. So, okay, can I just say this? That's the one thing I learned in this movie. Cat, not only is she a great movie producer, she's fierce. She's got a jump shot. She got game. Yeah, she got a jump. She Look got at that. Game. In her heels. She got game. In the heels. No layups. No layups, Cat. <laughs>